A presentation held by the U.S. Embassy in Port Moresby today revealed that stigma is the main cause of death for people living with HIV AIDS and PNG. U.S. Embassy's senior advisor for HIV, Dr. Percy Pokea, said stigma stops these people from seeking treatment early. Dr. Pokea highlighted the need for PNG to overcome stigma. The presentation was held to remember people who have been affected by HIV AIDS through stigma and discrimination. UPNG journalism student Rose Uglinga reports. People who are affected with HIV AIDS in PNG are mostly affected by stigma and discrimination within their community, family and the public. The HIV status in PNG is today classified as a generalized epidemic. The 2014 UN AIDS report has put PNG at the prevalence of 0.6% in the general population, which is below 1%. Most of these population die at early stages because they are afraid of the discrimination and stigma, which delays them in getting treatment. Dr. Pesi Pokaya, senior advisor for HIV in Centers for Disease Control, said the main reason people die today is not of HIV, but because of stigma which affects the way people think and delays them from getting treated. The reason why people die today is not because of HIV, it's because of stigma. That's the, that's the simple answer. Uh, the reason why people don't come to the uh, and get HIV treatment is because they are worried or they are scared of something or they are ashamed and all those things add up to keeping people from delaying to get treatment or delaying to get tested. Especially in PNG, stigma is what we need to overcome. Many user-friendly clinics are available within the country, but due to our customs and traditions, the people's perspective changes and this holds them back from getting help. The event today was to show public support for the people living with HIV and remembering the people who have died. Brad Coley, economic officer for the U.S. Embassy, said that World AIDS Day is not just about keeping options, but it's making sure that people feel free and empowered to limit those options and is for us to do what we can to reduce that stigma. World AIDS Day, it's not just about talking about keeping options, but it's making sure that people feel free and empowered to limit those options and that we do what we can to reduce that stigma. Rose Uglinga, NBC National News, Port Mosby.